Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The McDonnell Douglas FA-18 Hornet is an all-weather twin-engine supersonic carrier capable, multi-role combat aircraft designed as both a fighter and attack aircraft hence the FA designation, designed by McDonnell Douglas now part of Boeing and Northrop now part of Northrop Grumman, the FA-18 was derived from the latter's YF-17 in the 1970s for use by the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The Hornet is also used by the air forces of several other nations and formerly by the U.S. Navy's flight demonstration squadron the Blue Angels. The F-A-18 was designed to be a highly versatile aircraft due to its avionics cockpit displays and excellent aerodynamic characteristics with the ability to carry a wide variety of weapons. The aircraft can perform fighter escort, fleet air defense, suppression of enemy air defenses, air interdiction, close air support and aerial reconnaissance, its versatility and reliability have proven it to be a valuable carrier asset, though it has been criticized for its lack of range and payload compared to its earlier contemporaries such as the Grumman F-14 Tomcat in the fighter and strike fighter role and the Grumman A-6 Intruder and LTV A-7 Corsair II in the attack role. The Hornet first saw combat action during the 1986 United States bombing of Libya and subsequently participated in the 1991 Gulf War and 2003 Iraq War. The F-A-18 Hornet served as the baseline for the Boeing F-A-18 EF Super Hornet, its larger evolutionary redesign which replaced both the older Hornet and the F-14 Tomcat in the U.S. Navy. The Super Hornet is a redesign of the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. The wing and tail configuration trace its origin to an Northrop prototype aircraft the P-530C-1965 which began as a rework of the lightweight Northrop F-5E with a larger wing twin tail fins and a distinctive leading edge root extension or LERX. Later flying is the Northrop YF-17 Cobra. It competed in the United States Air Force's lightweight fighter LWF program to produce a smaller and simpler fighter to complement the larger McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle the YF-17 lost the competition to the YF-16. The Navy directed that the YF-17 be redesigned into the larger F-A-18 Hornet to meet a requirement for a multi-role fighter to complement the larger and more expensive Grumman F-14 Tomcat serving in fleet defense interceptor and air superiority roles. The Hornet proved to be effective but limited in combat radius. The concept of an enlarged Hornet was first proposed in the 1980s which was marketed by McDonnell Douglas as Hornet 2000. The Hornet 2000 concept was an advanced F-A-18 with a larger wing and a longer fuselage to carry more fuel and more powerful engines. The end of the Cold War led to a period of military budget cuts and considerable restructuring. At the same time U.S. naval aviation faced a number of problems. The McDonnell Douglas A-12 Avenger II was cancelled in 1991 after the program ran into serious problems. It was intended to replace the obsolete Grumman A-6 Intruder, the Navy considered updating an existing design as a more attractive approach to a clean sheet program, as an alternative to the A-12 McDonnell Douglas proposed the Super Hornet initially Hornet II in the 1980s an improvement of the successful previous F-A-18 models which could serve as an alternate replacement for the A6 Intruder. The next generation Hornet design proved more attractive than Grumman's quick strike upgrade to the F14 Tomcat, which was regarded as an insufficient technological leap over existing F14s. At the time the Grumman F14 Tomcat was the Navy's primary air superiority fighter and fleet defense interceptor. Then Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney described the F-14 as 1960s technology and drastically cut back F-14D procurement in 1989 before cancelling production altogether in 1991 in favor of the updated F-A-18EF. The decision to replace the Tomcat with an all-Hornet carrier air wing was controversial. 
Vietnam War ace and Congressman Duke Cunningham criticized the Super Hornet as an unproven design that compromised air superiority. In 1992 the Navy cancellated the Navy Advanced Tactical Fighter NATF which would have been an avlized variant of the Air Force's Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. As a cheaper alternative to NATF Grumman proposed substantial improvements to the F-14 beyond quick strike but Congress rejected them as too costly and reaffirmed its commitment to the less expensive F-A-18EF. The Super Hornet entered fleet service with the U.S. Navy in 1999. It achieved initial operating capability IOC in September 2001 with the U.S. Navy's Strike Fighter Squadron 115 VFA-115 at Naval Air Station Lemoore, California. VFA-115 was also the first unit to take their FA-18 Super Hornets into combat. On 6 November 2, 02 FA-18 as conducted a response option strike in support of Operation Southern Watch on two surface-to-air missile launchers at Al-Qut Iraq and an Air Defense Command and Control bunker at Talil Air Base. One of the pilots dropped a 2,000 a pound 910A kilogram JDAM bomb from the Super Hornet for the first time during combat. In support of Operation Iraqi Freedom Iraq Corps 5 FA-14 VFA-41 and VFA-115 flew close air support, strike, escort, SEAD and aerial refueling sorties. Two FA-18s from the FA-14 and two F-18Fs from the FA-41 were forward deployed to Abraham Lincoln. The VF-14 aircraft flew mostly as aerial refuelers, and the VF-41 fighters as forward air control at airborne or FACAs. On the 6th of April 2005. The FA-154 and the FA-147 the latter squadron then still operating FA-18Cs dropped two 500-pound 238-kilogram laser-guided bombs on an enemy insurgent location east of Baghdad. On 8 September 2006, the FA-211 FA-18 F Super Hornets expended GBU-12 and GBU-38 bombs against Taliban fighters and Taliban fortifications west and northwest of Kandahar. This was the first time the unit had participated in an active combat capacity using the Super Hornet. During the 2006-2007 cruise with Dwight D. Eisenhower the FA-103 and the FA-143 supported operations, Iraqi freedom, enduring freedom and operations off the Somali coast, alongside legacy Hornet squadrons, the FA-131 and the FA-83. They dropped 140 precision-guided weapons and performed nearly 70 strafing runs. The Super Hornet can operate from the French nuclear carrier Charles de Gaulle A-91. In 2007 Boeing proposed additional FA-18EFs to the U.S. Navy in a multi-year contract. As of October 2008 Boeing had delivered 367 Super Hornets to the U.S. Navy. On 6 April 2009 Defense Secretary Robert Gates announced that the Department of Defense intended to acquire 31 FA-18s in FY 2010. Congress requested the DoD study a further multi-year contract so that a projected fighter shortfall could be averted in 2006. The Navy was 60 fighters below its validated aircraft requirement. The FY 2010 budget bill authorized a multi year purchase agreement for additional Super Hornets. A multi year contract was finalized on 28 September 2010, reported as saving $600 million over individual yearly contracts for 66 Super Hornets and 58 Growlers to mitigate a four year delay in the F 35 program. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.